five, four, three, two, one. Hello, my name is Joe, and this is a piece of Californium, a very expensive piece of radioactive metal, Californium is found. Over here on the periodic table, it is found in the actinides group. On period 7, Californium has an atomic number of 98 and mass number of 251. Anyways, enough with the introduction and let's get straight into it. <coughs> number 1, Physical Properties. I will be going over three very cool physical properties of Californium. The density, melting point, and radioactivity. Californium is a dense metal, with a density of around 15.1 grams per centimeter cubed, one of the densest elements on the periodic table. This is because Californium has a lot of protons and neutrons in the nucleus for all known isotopes, which makes it have a high atomic weight which contributes to its high density. Melting point, Californium has a high melting point of 900 to 1110 degrees Celsius and also a boiling point in the range of 2000 to 3000 degrees Celsius based on extrapolation from its neighboring elements. However, both the melting point and boiling point of this element is hard to measure and not well understood because it depends on the purity and due to its radioactivity, Californium is typically stored and handled in sealed containers under controlled conditions in specialized facilities. This makes it very challenging to measure its physical properties. Another important physical property of Californium is its radioactivity. Uh? Let's talk about this and how it relates to its atomic structure. Californium's radioactivity is a result of its unstable nucleus which has an excess of protons and neutrons relative to the number of neutrons required for stability. This instability causes the nucleus to emit various types of radiation, including alpha particles, beta particles, and gamma rays. Types of chemical bonding. Californium is a metal, and as such it typically forms ionic bonds with non-metallic elements. But it is also possible for Californium to form covalent bonds with other elements, although this is less common due to its highly radioactive nature. Ionic bonding. Metal plus non-metal bond. Californium can bond with halogens such as chlorine and bromine forming a positively charged Californium ion and a negatively charged halogen ion. This is a metal to non-metal ionic bond. Another example of a metal to non-metal ionic bond is Californium oxide. Metal plus metal ionic bond. Californium can also bond with metal ions, such as calcium but in an unstable manner, to form a solid ionic compound. But Californium does not commonly form metal metal ionic bonds with other elements as it has a rare synthetic element and is highly radioactive. Chemical properties and reactions. Here we have the reactants on the left hand side and products on the right hand side. This reaction has a wide range of applications in nuclear medicine and radiochemistry as well as in the development of new medical treatments which is pretty epic. Californium has a unique atomic structure. It has an atomic number of 98 which have a type of electron configuration that makes it extremely reactive due to its unfilled valence shell. This means that it can easily form bonds with other atoms or exchange electrons with other atoms and forms chemical compounds quickly. This is why it is able to react with both boron and hydrogen, forming the compounds mentioned just then. Californium plus oxygen equals Californium dioxide. Californium dioxide is used in a variety of applications such as medical diagnosis and fuel for nuclear reactors. Uses of Californium. Californium is a radioactive element that can emit neutrons at a high rate making it have many uses. One use is in nuclear reactors, where Californium's high neutron flux allows greater power output and low neutron energy which reduces the intensity of fission byproducts and makes it ideal for power production. Californium is also useful for detecting metals, as it has a high atomic number and large number of neutrons which causes penetrating neutrons that can easily be absorbed by metal atoms, creating a strong signal that can be detected. The end. Hope you now know more about Californium. Goodbye.